There were primetime bitches such as Dynasty's Alexis and not Slanding's Abby. There was all my children's Phoebe for more than... I know. Oh, oh, she's a what? Nice. <laughs> For more than 20 years, viewers have witnessed the devious shenanigans uh, of Pine Valley's meddlesome matriarch, Phoebe Tyler Wallingford. Watch this. Dear, if you know what you're really up against. I would like you to leave. It just so happens that I was in the hospital earlier this Did evening. Did you hear me? And I happen to observe your uh, young friend with his so-called former wife. Otherwise known as Dixie. It was a very cozy scene, dear. Terribly cozy. In fact, it demonstrated to me that beyond the Just shadow of a doubt... Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I don't want to hear another word. And if you're not going to leave on your own steam, then I will call Langley and I will have him drag you out of here. All right. All right, go ahead. Have it your own way. Shield yourself from the truth. You'll be sorry. Good night. Will you please welcome... Ruth Warren! Isn't that wonderful? They oh, say yeah. Phoebe and they go... Oh. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, it's very, very satisfying. You get it all out there and when you go home you can be sweet and darling. And, uh, most of the time. Do people <laughs> come to you out when you're like shopping and they say, I mean, do they differentiate? Do they understand that? Well, yes, they'll say, um, I saw you today and you're awful and I loved it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 20 years. You've been 20? on 20 years. 20 years. <gasps> I never dreamed of such a thing. When you took it, did you think it was like four years, one year? Well, I, you know, you don't really think yeah. about it. In fact, when I went to work on all my children, it was for the least money I'd ever accepted. Uh, but I wanted to get back to the East Coast. You know that right, feeling. Right, right. <laughs> oh, tell me. And uh, there was a part there. I had to, well, uh, one young man lost his job because I, I called Agnes Nixon. You see, I knew to bet on her. I knew it would be a success. She was uh, a writer. Yes, yeah, she's a writer. And she's created like seven soaps on the air, sometimes as many as five at one time. And uh, she said, well, you're a grandmother. I said, well, I am a grandmother. She said, really? How old is your grandson? I said, 18 months. She said, oh, well, this one's 18 years, right. and he'll soon be out of medical college, you know, all right. that kind of thing. But I talked her into it. It was the best thing I ever did in my oh, life, I think. 20 years. Yeah. Tell me, um, when do you take vacations? Because you're, you're alive. There are no reruns on soaps. No, we're like life. We go on and on. But you see, we have 42 <laughs> regular members of the cast now, right. so they can do without us. All they have to do is talk about me, say two lines, and I'm always there. Do you get paid when you're not on? Do you get paid? Well, I, you have a yearly... Uh, allotment, you know, right. and you either fill those or you don't. And if you don't fill them up, you've got to pay for them anyway. So that's great. That's wonderful. But if you say, I want to go for three weeks away, they well, can write you out for those three weeks. Yes. You can have a life. You don't have yes, to be on that's call. Right. Exactly. Not yeah. every single every single morning over six o'clock, no. And, uh, you know, sometimes six they will. Six o'clock. Tell us a day, a day that you're working. Okay. Give me a day. Up at 6 on the, on the set, well, in rehearsal at 7.30. 7.30. And if we're through by 6.30, that's a banner day. 7.30, it's a 12-hour day. Yeah. But it can go to 9.30, 10 or 11. We've even worked all night long. The sun came up, we took a nap, and sh shot another day. But that's not uh, usual. But they're long days long when you're days. on the set. And that's why the young people don't like to stay with it. They really don't have a life. You know, by the time they get through, they've got to go and learn their lines. And if they have a relationship... Uh, soon they move out because yeah. there's no life, no social yeah. life. I want to talk to you about relationships and stuff like that. As oh, soon you become... don't ever do that, Joe. No, I know, I'm going to change with you. I'm gonna, I know it, because I heard that you had an affair with Orson Welles. We'll talk. We'll talk. <laughs> we'll, that was just a guess. I got it. We'll be right back in a moment. <laughs> Talking with all my children's Ruth Warwick, um, you were uh, and you've done su you have such a long, wonderful career. You know, mm. um, you uh, played Orson Welles' wife in Citizen Kane, and this is our 50th anniversary. We shot it 50 years ago. Oh, oh. Yeah. And it's just as, <laughs> just as wonderful now as it was then. Hold up, 
I feel great about that. I can take a bow on that. Then I say, yes, but that means you have a 50-year-old daughter because I had my two main productions simultaneously. Hey, my first child, my first movie. Do you, because you look so spectacular. When you look at a 50-year-old woman, do you say, this is my daughter? I mean, isn't that hard to put it together? Oh, she doesn't look 50 either. Yeah, because you look wonderful. Thank you. D does age bother you at all? And then we'll get back to Austin Rowe. You look great. I'm 74 years old, Joan. 74? You 74. look incredible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I have one friend, Carl Brown, who's married to Vincent Price, who also looks like, yes. you know, yes, I know. 50, 60. Exactly. Does anything change? Like, I, I, I'm in my mid-50s. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> but um, I find nothing has changed. I'm waiting to slow down. Mm -hmm. Do you find anything like memorization or you can't take the stairs oh, no. as fast or anything? No, absolutely not. In fact, that life gets easier. It's, I, I wouldn't be young again, really young, uh, chronologically for yeah. anything. I'm younger inside now than yeah. I was when I was young, quote unquote. What about romantically? Do you oh, still? Do I still? Yeah. Is that great? <laughs> Better than ever. Better than ever, right? Absolutely. Which brings us to Orson Welles. How, <laughs> was he good in bed? Not especially. Not especially. Uh -uh. No, you see, John That's... Barrymore, who was the, the great uh, lover of, you know, the yeah. other years, uh, as his um, wife used to say, by the time he gets through talking about it, it doesn't matter what else happens because it's so thrilling. <laughs> isn't, isn't that interesting that, you know, somebody that's such a great lover outside is it who was the best of all the actors that you because i know you had, you had a big romance with douglas fairbanks jr and anthony quinn how is how is anthony quinn in bed because i think he's such a great looking man you couldn't wait till you got to bed with him yeah. <laughs> and, and then Oh, he's a macho man, darling. I mean, that's a, a, I learned to dance on the seashore of life long before he was Zorba the Greek. I uh. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's so funny. You, you, you were married five times. No, such four times. Four times. Uh, once was twice. I mean, one oh, man yeah. got in there twice. Uh. <laughs> uh, um, uh, uh, yet, you, your earliest romance, uh -huh. your first marriage, was with a, a gay man. Yes, did you I, know? I did didn't know. How did I know? He, uh, well, he was like, he looked like, a, you know, a, a Rock Hudson would look, you know, yeah. big, macho, deep bass voice. We had two children. What did I know? I thought they, you know, had chiffon handkerchiefs right. and wore lipstick. Right. I'd never dreamed, never in my wildest dreams. But he was an alcoholic, and the doctor said that was because he was living a double life, and, you know, it was easier when he was Drunk. little. Yeah. And then it got to the point where he tried to kill me and our son. And I said, well, this isn't tried funny anymore. Tried to kill you? Mm -hmm. And I, he was then away for the sanitarium. And then everybody called me up and said, oh, my God, didn't you know? We've been trying. We wanted to tell you, but we just couldn't, you know. That it didn't, people didn't tell in those days like they do now. Don't you think it's horrendous? I know I was uh, engaged to a young man that was uh, also trying to be homosexual. And... My mother didn't know. I didn't know. It was just different times. Yes, very different. But you see, I, I, it's, it's terrible at the time, Joe. And I used to think, can I ever wake up without thinking about this? Yeah. I don't think about it at all because I have two wonderful children, very talented. He was an extremely talented man and two talented grandchildren. So it was painful for a while, and, but it was more painful for him than for me, I'm yeah. sure, because he had to live with it all the time. And I didn't know it till it was over. You know how that and goes. You yeah. were in Hollywood doing all those... I always think of them as the great years, the golden years, because yeah. they were run by people that if they wanted to make you a star, yes. and they, they knew make, how to do it. They knew how to, and they groomed you and everything. Yes. Did, did they try, because you're so beautiful, did they try to change anything oh. with you, or has this changed? Uh, no, they, the, fir the first thing, they want to do all my teeth, of course, and uh, facial. I was, you know, I was in my early 20s, because they said I had apple cheeks, it was too round. I said, well, Claudette Colbert's done all right. And I was, uh, you know, I was... My own self before I got to Hollywood. Yeah. You see, that's a difference. I was well brought up. That's how I got the role. I was a, a lady. Orson said I have to have a lady, not somebody who can play a lady. There are no ladies in Hollywood. Right. Yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But you know what? That man uh, did that to all those young girls. And they all came out looking just exactly alike, which means there's no career, really. And he was put in jail for, oh, years and years and years because he was getting a rake off, you see, from the dentist and from the sergeant and all oh, of so that. Oh, so he would send them, you need your teeth, and the dentist would kick back. And, of back. course, most girls who went there would do anything, anything. I wouldn't do anything they asked me to do unless did, I wanted to. Yeah, but, which is a different, yeah. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> it's so what you're so open about mm. sex, which is so wonderful. That growing up, you said you came from a very strict family. Oh, very. Were they open about it? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. And, Joan, I want to make one thing very clear. I think I am so sad for the young people today. You see, I would want to, sure, you can see, I would have loved to do some of those things. Yeah. But I didn't, not till I was in college. Yeah. Because it's not right. Sex is marvelous. It's beautiful. But it needs to be connected with real feeling. Oh, it need, I think there should uh, be a build-up. I call it the war dance. There should be <laughs> no flowers and cards and phone calls and hands touching for a second. All that romance is gone. Yeah, I mean, and not only that, you Now see. you just go and take an AIDS test. Oh, God. You know, it's like a... <laughs> I have a teacher, a marvelous teacher, who says, uh, you know, intercourse is about the least intimate thing that a couple can do these days. That's what we've done. We've trashed it, yes. like a lot of other things. Yeah. It needs to be saved for the right moment and the right thing when you... Because it's meant for a bonding. It's not meant for exercise or entertainment. Yeah. It's but meant for something wonderful. But you do burn off 300 calories each okay. time. <laughs> well, that, better than walking stairs. You know, it's... <laughs> no, I know. I'm just... We'll be right back with Ruth Warwick after a moment. So stay with us. We are back. We're talking with all my children's Ruth Warwick. Um, we were talking about romance and how I think so much romance is gone. Did you have big romances when you were very young? Well, I wouldn't say they were. They were. Yeah, they were big, but I didn't. As I said, I didn't do it. Yes. I didn't do it. And then when I um, graduated from high school. I had sort of a nervous breakdown. That was because I have it all, do it all, like we say now. Right. I was always an A student, totally, and yet I was, you know, lead the senior play, edited the yearbook, editor of Everything. the new paper, just did it, you know. So I never got more than four hours sleep a night just doing that. And after, you know, I just folded up over the Baptist church a choir rail after one Sunday, and I know what everybody in the audience say, uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, but it wasn't true. They thought you were pregnant. Of course, yeah. but <clears throat> absolutely not. Well, my uncle... Um, so you had a nervous breakdown, yes, just well, collapse in church? What happened was I couldn't, I couldn't hear or see anything except, like, from the wrong end of the telescope, but I could hear people talking I couldn't understand. And that ringing in your ears is real. So my uncle sent me to what must have been a clinical psychologist. My folks wouldn't have known that from anything. And we did a lot of tests and a lot of things like that. And then he said to me, um, tell me, don't you have a boyfriend? I said, well, yes. He said, do, do you love him? I said, yes. Does he love you? Yes. He said, well, you tell him that he better take care of you. I said, what? He was telling me that I must tell my boyfriend that we should get down together. <laughs> and uh, that you should have sex with you? Telling this to a, a high school girl? No, I was ready for college. All right, so I was in college. Right. But and he days. said, you're very mature for your yeah. age, you know, you're a grown woman and you have a lot of pressures on you and you're very emotional and you're very bright and all those things trying to get those all together. You're finding out life is not like what your mother and father said it was. There's another dimension, but you're saying no, 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 no. And he said, I'm saying yes, 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 as long as it's somebody you care about. You see, there has to be a spiritual component. Right. Then it's all right. If there isn't, it's all wrong. So the doctor told you this. Uh, now, now, you had to go back to your mother and father, oh, Baptist, no, no, no. and tell them? Did no, you tell them? of course not. Are you crazy? Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't tell them. I told him, and even he almost ran the car in the ditch for the <laughs> And we made an appointment for New Year's Eve because, you know, you couldn't just go any place. Yeah. And uh, friends of his uh, were going to be out of town on a vacation, so we had... You know, like they used to have rumpus rooms, you know, it was everything was in it, you know, this, that. And I mean, it was wonderful, the champagne, the flowers, all of it, just like it's you said. And oh, my God, it, you know, you know what it's like. Oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, now, listen, I want to tell you something. This is so overwhelming. Don't get carried away with it. Uh, you may love me, you may not, but you know, don't mistake this for it, you know. And he was very wise, except later that year he wanted me to run away and marry him, and I wouldn't. I said, oh, no, 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 no. I want to go to college. I want to do all of that. Thank God you were Thank smart Thank God, enough. exactly. Did you ever end up marrying him? Was he one of the no, five? No, but he married one of my dear friends uh, very quickly. I guess he didn't like being so told no to. But how wonderful that some, a but doctor done, be smart enough. Yeah, and it was done beautifully, as you say. Yeah. It was and done it like a, an initiation was yeah. what it was. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So was mine. That Pinto was warm. <laughs> 